Hey guys, what's up? It's Queenie here. Welcome back to another video. So as you can see from the title, today is going to be a makeup look slash chit chat kind of thing. I have been thinking that I will do a video like this every Friday. Um, a few weeks ago I posted a like no talking, really relaxing makeup video and people really liked it but then someone was also like I do like your talking videos as well. So I was like okay let me do some of this, a little bit of that. But I was thinking okay so this is the thing. On Instagram on Fridays I love to post videos and be like TGIF you know, just something funny and light and just like enjoyable. So I was like, Let me, could I do that on YouTube? Like every Friday I can come on here and post like not a funny video, but just a video like this. And it's just kind of maybe motivational or, you know, just girl talk kind of video every Friday. So let me know what you guys think about it. I'll probably do it anyways. Before we get into this video, make sure you are subscribed. Hit the subscribe button, it is free, I promise. It will not steal your credit card information. There is no 30 day trial, it's free forever, like for the rest of your life. So that's like a pretty good deal. So make sure you hit that button and yeah, let's get started. Okay, so for today's look, I'm actually gonna do a very dewy, natural look. Okay, I don't know if it'll be natural, but it'll be very dewy. I wanna look like alive today. I don't wanna look like, you know what I mean? You always want to look alive, but you know what I mean. I want to look moisturized, like I'm drinking coconut water every single day. So, let's get started. Um, my wig is already secured. Details will be in the description box if you're interested. And so, right now, you guys are seeing my face and it's like... I don't even know what this is. I have some dark spots happening everywhere, like just here and there. And just my eyebrows are growing in. See how it's growing downwards? But anyways, let's get started. I'm gonna start off with the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus on my skin just to moisturize it. Whew. This video might be a little bit long, so if you're watching, make sure you grab a snack or a drink or something, or do your makeup with me. I love doing my makeup along with people on YouTube. So grab your makeup, sit down, let's do it together, and just have a talk. Okay, so I want to talk about something that was posted on Instagram yesterday. My friend posted this quote from somebody else, and it's just been stuck in my head. It says, The enemy likes to remind us how much more we could have and do by dressing our blessings as burdens. Let's talk about blessings in disguise. Like, sometimes I feel like in life, I can be so... Even now, sometimes I'm like, this isn't supposed to happen. This is not how things are supposed to go. Like, there's so many things that I'm battling with in the sense that I need to let God's timing do its thing and I'm not so I really have been struggling with that one sec let me go wet my sponge I'm actually gonna start off by doing my eyebrows but anyways yeah let's talk about blessings in disguise like there's so many things that I'm trying to control and insisting that my time is now for certain things and God is like no actually this is the plan I have for you so I've been really struggling with that and I'm like, everything that is happening right now is actually a blessing, you know? This, the way things are moving is a blessing and the enemy has this way of making you feel like it's not a blessing and God isn't working in your favor. And um, then you get upset and you start to try to control things and then things blow up in your face even more. Like, it's just, you gotta let go recognize that every day that you're alive is a blessing no matter what is going on if you are here breathing there's a purpose behind it you know like there is always a reason behind everything there's never a moment where you should be like upset at your situation you really can't because there is a plan for you there's a plan for you that there was a there's a plan made for you before you were even you know what i mean like it's all been figured out and it will all be okay and everything needs to happen in that way for you to be the person that you need to be and in order to get to that place that you feel like you're supposed to be at you need to have the lessons that god is like shoving into your life you know what i mean and if you're not a religious person it's you can think of this in any way that works for you Things are meant to happen for a reason, you know? Take out all the religious, spiritual stuff. Things happen for a reason. They make you who you are no matter what. If you feel like it is not how you imagine things, it's like just, just leave it alone because you cannot plan out your entire life for yourself. You can plan, you can only plan so much, you know? Just 
stay faithful in knowing that your life already has a purpose whether you know it or not just keep doing what you do wake up every morning be grateful do what you love work hard and let go of everything else right now i'm using the mac next to nothing face what it I'm using the MAC Next to Nothing Foundation, which is a basically like a tint of moisturizer in my opinion. It's barely there. It's literally next to nothing, but it's very moisturizing and it's just going to give me a nice base. I'm just going to leave that and then I'm going to clean up my eyebrows. Ooh. And as you guys can see, I am using a brown pencil today for my eyebrows. It's not as dark as I usually do it. I'm just going for this really like glossier kind of look today, but like a glam version, a glam glossier model look. <clears throat> okay, so I just cleaned up my eyebrows. They are nice and thick today. Um, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. We're just gonna move along. Now, let me continue what I was saying. With all of that planning and trying to control your life comes this like pressure to be perfect, I find like you have to like, it's this control because like there's this pressure to be perfect so now i'm using the Too faced born this way foundation in the color hazelnut and i'm just using it in this area of my face just like that um yeah there's this need to be perfect so you try to control everything and it's like it's not even your place to control and i find that the more i try to control things the more <laughs> they kind of go backwards so i'm learning to let go and let God. Mm. These sponges are so good. This is the Real Techniques blending sponge. Better than a beauty blender, I'm telling you. Oh, I love it. And on top of this, <laughs> I'm gonna use the Ordinary Foundation in the color 3.2R. So it's like red undertone. See it down here. But yeah, so I'm trying to take the pressure off, off of myself. From trying to be perfect all the time and I feel like it's just also like after being done school there's this expectation that like okay now it's time for you to become a millionaire let's see the money and it's like it's time for you to get this job it's time for you to you know just blow up like your life is just about to set off and I feel like everybody's just looking at me I don't know maybe that's just all in my head but I feel like there's too much pressure and I feel like now you get all the so what now questions. And it's like, I don't know. I'm doing the same thing that I was doing before and I'm letting God guide me. It doesn't happen overnight. So I think that's where it's coming from. This what now, like this what now stage in my life. Like, okay, you're done. So what's next? Perfection to me is staying true to myself. So that's what I'm trying to remember and remind everybody else. Okay, my skin is looking. Oh, oh, flawless. Okay, so now I'm gonna highlight with my LA Girl concealer in the color Toffee. But yeah, I don't know if it's just me. Do you guys ever feel that pressure to be amazing all the time? I'm doing what I want to continue to do, which is YouTube and acting and writing. Like that is what I am going to do, and that's what I'm gonna be successful in. You know, like I am a creative, so. I'm just preaching to myself. Okay, so before I continue, I'm gonna um, contour with the Kylie Cosmetics Concealer and the color Cocoa. This is my favorite contour, by the way. Do you guys see how dark this contour is? That's why I like it. I just want to motivate you guys to continue to do whatever it is that you're doing even if it's not going exactly as you have planned just know that that's that's what it's supposed to be okay so for my eyes I'm gonna be using my Kat Von D shade and con shade and light eyeshadow palette um, I'm just gonna do something really neutral something I have been trying to do is manage my time really well um, I have been reading a few books I love audiobooks and I love podcasts. Podcasts I've been listening to are um, Jesus and Jalof with Yvonne Orji. And that one's really good. 
I also listen to things like Zig Ziglar's podcast, which is intense motivational. And um, I also listen to Oprah's Super Soul Sundays. Um, if you know me, you know I love Maya Angelou, so I love listening to their old interviews and stuff. Oh yeah, and I also listen to an acting one. It's called The Real Life Actor. Um, so it's actually like acting, like lessons, I guess. Like it's a podcast for actors and it's really amazing. I will list everything down below so you guys can check it out. And so along with listening to those, I've been reading books. I've read a book on time management. I will leave that below. And I'm also listening to You Are a Badass by Jen, I forget her name, but um, I'll list everything so you guys can see and look it up and stuff. So those are the books that have been helping me right now. Also, let me know what show you guys shows you guys are watching on TV. I'm looking for something new to watch. Okay, so I just went ahead and did my eyeliner. In the mornings, I listen to uplifting music. I listen to uplifting audiobooks and podcasts and just try to get myself going. And just if you're struggling with all that stuff, just honestly, you need to look at yourself every day and know that you are amazing and that you everything that you're doing is worthwhile. Like you are doing it for a reason. There's nothing that you are doing for no reason. So if you need to push yourself and completely go for your goals and dreams, don't hold back because if you don't do it, somebody else will. And that's the thing that kills me. Like I'm complaining about all these little things and just saying I wish it was this way, I wish it was this way. One day you're gonna see some person with the same issue you have doing what you wanted to do and you're gonna be pissed. Cause I know I will, that's why I'm up every day doing what I need to do. Cause <laughs> nobody's gonna take my spot. Don't think so. Definitely not on my watch. It gets me like, whew, child. I'm telling you, don't let little things, don't let anything hold you back. Cause I am telling you, there's somebody who's having that same struggle, that same issue, with, do and doing the exact same thing you want to do. And you're gonna see them up there one day talking about their struggle that you once had but you let it defeat you and they pushed through it and got to where you wanted to be not that there are limited spots in a certain position but you need to be up there with that person too especially if you guys can relate you know how much change you can like put into the world if you push through a struggle and get to the position you want to be and then there's other people there as well who went through the same thing there is power in numbers like don't let anybody fool you like do not let things like that stop you because i'm telling you if somebody <laughs> there's so many people who are successful and if they had let their trauma their issues and all that stuff stop them they would not be where they are when i think about the stuff that oprah has been through it shocks me and honestly this is kind of like on a different scale but even like um winnie harlow who has vitiligo who's a model Eventually another model would have taken that place if she didn't do it herself, you know And that's also empowering other women with that skin condition to push through but if she didn't go and like push past that um, Someone else would have went and did it and she would have been sitting at home like you just have to do it because somebody else will do it It's not impossible. Somebody will do it. I'm telling you don't let anything stop you because You'll definitely miss out on that first opportunity and somebody else will do it and you're gonna feel like an idiot letting that little not little but letting that thing stop you because we are much bigger than any issue or any situation trust me so whew, if you are holding yourself back because of something I need you to stop <laughs> I need you to stop because somebody is going through that same thing and they are pushing through it and they are reaching their goals you can take time but don't let it stop you because whatever you're struggling with, if it's money that you need, if it's, I don't know, health that you need, if it's support that you need, there's somebody going through that same thing and they're finding the loopholes. If it's financial, they're cutting their budget, they're making it work. If it's the support, they're reaching out to people to get that support. Even if you don't want to, like sometimes we just want people to be there ready to help us. No, sometimes you have to ask them. Sometimes you have to push them. Sometimes you have to chase them to help you. And sometimes you just need it. It is okay. So whether it's money, support, health, there's somebody also waking up in the morning 
struggling in pain and still doing what they need to do and pushing through and just praying and knowing that they will get better you know so just don't let things get in your way and even if you can't do things to the maximum that you want to do it to what your situation will allow and that's still better than nothing am i preaching or am i preaching like guys you all like i know if you're watching this you are doing something amazing that you need to continue doing and you need to continue working for okay so did i not put glue on this lash i'm confused okay so my lashes are on looking good and now i'm gonna seal all of this as you notice i actually didn't use much setting powder i used a little bit right here a little bit right here but i just want to leave this dewiness i'm gonna add a bit of shimmer highlight i'm gonna use gold deposit by mac it's actually not my favorite but i should use a bit today oh oh child okay that's a lot you know what i guess we're doing a lot of highlight today that's fine too that's actually cool you know like this goes perfectly with the video when things just don't go as planned you just gotta work with it you just gotta um yeah so y'all i hope this video really touched somebody because it definitely just speaking this stuff out loud helps me a lot too everything's gonna be good but you gotta work for what you want you have to work you have to or else it's just you can't not work for it and expect it to happen it just doesn't work that way so i'm using the mac lipstick by Aaliyah in the color try again i'm just gonna put a gloss over top So I didn't set too much with powders, I'm just going to set it with um, this makeup finishing spray by Skindinavia, which is the best <laughs> finishing spray. I love fanning my face because I can keep it still and let everything set. So that is it for this look. That is it for this, oh yes, yes this neutral chocolate dewy glossy shimmery look <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys are gonna enjoy this new friday series where i just come on here do my makeup and motivate you guys a little bit and talk and just declare what is going to happen in our lives okay nothing that isn't in our favor okay so we are just gonna talk just connect revamp our souls every friday before we go into the weekend and just kind of get together and remind ourselves that we are amazing people amazing women women in general women of color there's just so much to pull out of each other and to uplift so that's what i'm here for and i hope i can do that for you guys weekly and i hope you're excited and i hope this was a good start kind of just winged it is that the word i can't say wung it i i winged it i winged it today so <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't miss any more of these videos if you don't hit the subscribe button then pfft, i can't help you because it's free it's as free as it gets so i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching comment if there's anything on your heart that you need to say comment it down below hit the subscribe button and the notification button. I'm watching you and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye and you can watch more videos. Okay, bye. <laughs>